All right, everybody. The crit series is back against Terra. <laughs> Very strange. Very strange. But Terra can, she can pack a punch, man. Like, I've actually almost lost to uh, Funkbot 3000's Terra back when he would play her uh, near her release. She has since been nerfed quite a little bit, though, so she can only be worse. I don't know how well this can go for my man. We'll see if this ends up even being a YouTube video at all. But, uh, we're gonna do some stuff here. See, she's got good clear, is the thing. Look at that. Just cleared the whole thing there. Without me even having an opportunity to do anything. My poke to her, nullify. My clear. Poke. Oh, she has a Vap Shroud, too, and she was able to do that. Vap Shroud generally doesn't uh, yield that, especially uh, not the amount of mana that she still has. Uh, this being a crit one, also, it's a good uh, experiment to see how badly crit will do into a uh, Guardian with defense. So, I'm glad to see that this guy's got some fighting spirit and that it's a good uh, Guardian player, because could lead to some interesting things. Root her right in the middle of that. So what they change is that no longer uh, roots anymore, right? Now it's just the slow and it no longer roots uh, when she breaks the stone. The other one still stuns, but this used to root for a little bit. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I did not play her much, I'll be honest. She realized I hit five right there. So she ended up wasting her ult, which is good. I never knew that her ult heals her every, like, ten hits she takes or some shit. Five hits, maybe? I don't get it, but I try not to understand Terra. She's not a dual god. I don't need to know about her, you know? So, But yeah, basically, apparently she gets healed by her ult. Um, in addition to getting extra healing. She also gets a, an actual heal this from the ult itself. She's probably already at the red, so I'm just gonna go take this blue. But yeah, so interestingly enough, you know, she's got the early game for sure because uh, Artemis doesn't have a strong early. Her clear is really bad. Her poke is rough to use because her uh, mana costs are pretty hefty. They have fixed that a, little, a bit with her, though. You know, Hyrus has made a point of trying to uh, make her three cost less mana and just allow her to, uh, you know, use it for poke and for clear because it's her only clear ability too. A lot of gods have one, have like two clear abilities, and she'll only have the one. For not having an escape either, she's gotta be careful in the early. And yeah, Terra, I mean, like, as you can see, she just... She shits on people. Ooh, that was close. Maybe could have set up for a uh, kill opportunity for her. She's already got pen boots, so... She's up a, a good amount on us in gold, given that there's been no uh, first blood or anything. I didn't have time to set up that one there, unfortunately. It looks like she hasn't gotten the red yet. That is one thing that'll be tough for her to get. It's not as easy as the the wave, uh, her you know clear setup on the wave. Okay, good. Oh, she's so mobile. The shell bait, not enough. Wow, she used the bracer. It didn't make any sound. I feel like bracer's been doing that to me lately. I don't like when it doesn't make sound, man. It's very misleading. But we stuck it out for long enough that she doesn't get the red buff for free. She is gonna get it, but yeah. I'm gonna go straight into the poison star here. In, uh, you know, in the nature and the spirit of the crit series. It really should have been crit or quit. I know it's crit or bust. It's too late, you guys. I couldn't change it midway through. Somebody made a good comment. It was true. I agree, but we're too far in this. We're, we're committed. We're all part of this now.
So yeah, definitely normal Artemis should be able to take this as she goes into uh, the later stages of the game. And I think that's why the, the crit Artemis would be even more interesting to see. Now crit art's really uh, cool because she's got the um, innate crit already. This one going up to 15%. That math I can do. Um, yeah, 15% for 4 seconds you can uh, stack it up to. doing a good job with the poke game and everything uh, she really wants to keep us out of, of late game you know she wants to get something started early on here but that's a tough part L luring the ADC out and you know good way to do it is definitely on the bus all right so I just took it ignored her you know classic ADC uh, scumbag tactics they ignore the enemy Always take down fair. the objective I'm glad you think it's interesting. Get to win. All right, so going into the breastplate. Um, actually, it could be. I mean, we'll see. Probably breastplate though, because she doesn't even have uh, the cooldown boots, so she's gonna want that. That you know, early cooldown. Especially with the type of god that Terra is, it's spamming her ability so often. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Be careful with how we step here. She gets something else up. But she's not going to because it takes a long time for her to get her abilities up. And like I said, that's why she's going to want want the cooldown. But she couldn't finish it yet. She's going to take down the traps, which is smart. Okay. I'm going to stick around for this wave. She took enough damage that she can't really dive. Too. No, we're sticking with Critter Bust. I'm not going back and changing it. That would be a lie. This gets to the point. I might go with Ossie here for the lifesteal item since I don't want to go all the way through the Devo stacking. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I might do it. To emphasize more on the crit potential. Terra, man. She's a powerhouse. She's really fun to like fight against. When I play her, I can't do this shit because I'm so bad with her, but. Yeah, I definitely got it back after all that. Psych. Hit him with the crits. Okay, not bad. Hitting for 106 with the crits right now on her. Oh my god, I misplaced it. <laughs> Even with the properly blazed trap, I don't think we had her there though. Fortunately. Ooh. She's really diving deep for this one, and I don't think she's getting out, baby. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. I always talk about people like always question like why, you know, why throw there? Um, and it's not really a throw, it's like, you know, it's a desperate attempt that the, that these, uh, like, guardians or, you know, any of the, uh, lower tier gods needs in the early game to be able to actually get the lead that they need. So, you know, this player has to go for something like that. I mean, maybe not that exact play, but, you know, the pressure is on you to go for, for that, um, you know, dream kill there and start the snowball. Maybe I will still go Devos. I already have to go for it, why not? Then I'll go into defense item. I need a rug. But yeah, it's really rough that she didn't, uh, you know, come up with anything. And she did go into Nemean and not cool down, which I do think will be a big problem with the build. Holy shit, we're cutting a lot. With this lead, we can definitely go into the Devos. If we didn't have it, I'd say, you know, maybe we should go into Aussie. But now we can justify the stack and got all the time in the world as we're the ones ahead. She's back. It's rough. He definitely starts to get demoralized after something like that happens. She 
Jesus. Huh. Yeah, I thought I could fight that, and then quickly learn, but hold up! Wow, she didn't juke the way I thought she would. Oh, so fucking close, too. I don't think she can fuck with this stuff. Her, her abilities are too telegraphed, you know? It's too easy to tell. Oh! God damn, so close. I kept myself at arm's length, too, so only the explosion damage hit me and nothing, you know, none of her actual bursts from her dash. That's heartbreaking. That keep I'm gonna go for okay. Pestilence, actually. And I don't know what else. I can go Horrific. Just like, try to slow her down and catch up to her. I could go Shield of Thorns to try to, you know, uh, screw her over a little bit, but probably won't be too impactful. Because she's not that kind of, like, all-in god that's doing, like, a ton of damage at once to you. But the crits are really paying off there, as you can see. I was hitting some pivotal crit moments there. My autos are just like not going sometimes. I feel like there's like an Artemis glitch. A low-key Artemis glitch. Where she just like gets caught in her bow and can't auto. Ugh. Give me the crits! Oh, she went back in, she might have been able to kill me before I killed her there, to be honest. But we're fighting through. She's doing a good job of juking, and I'm missing some really poorly placed autos. Ooh! She's gotta be so careful, you know. Ah, oh, fuck me! I just completely lost track of it. I went on some train where she was going to the right, I guess, and I was firing over there, and I was like, yeah, I got her. And, uh, she was definitely all the way to the left. With Pythags done, I have no idea what this is, but it does have cooldown on it, so she's got the cooldown, she's got a good amount of uh, lifesteal, uh, and then the uh, passive gives her more lifesteal. I don't know what the hell the passive does. What does the passive do? It gives her lifesteal, and it, yeah, and their physical power. Okay, it increases her power and her lifesteal. It's kind of like, I think it serves as like a bridge item, a bridge lifesteal item. I don't know why you wouldn't just go Bancroft. I feel like Bancroft is so much better for only a little bit more money, maybe. But I don't know. It does get cooldown, so that's cool. But I don't know if I agree with it otherwise. But I mean, this guy, he knows what he's doing right now with the Tyrant. He's, he got the solid kill. A lot of that was my own stupidity. Trains, baby. I love them. Oni, Six thanks so much. Nice. I'll take a pooch game when able. Pooch, pooch, pooch. Thanks, man. Six months is crazy. Thank you so much. All right, you took the red. If this is up, nope. That's a lot of damage, and we got out of the way of that shit. Ooh, hit every auto, but it's not enough, unfortunately. We got the bracer out of her. Wow, what is she crazy? How much are you healing? She's out of her mind. I have no idea what this attempt was. That was that was too much. She's doing all these crazy things, and I can't really read her because I have no idea what Terra is doing. And then, but one thing, you know, I can recognize is that if you're at less than a quarter health and you're just trying to stick around. For this tower, just take you down. No amount of healing that you can muster is gonna stop that. But yeah, so there we go. These towers down. This poison star has been doing work. Like it really has. I've actually been enjoying it a lot. I'm starting to think that I want to build crit in my normal builds. The red's still down. Here's a part where it sucks because I don't have that much attack speed. So I want like an executioner. I also want another crit item though. Yeah, I'll go XE and then I'll go um, 
into Deathbringer. I think this would be the, the optimal build. My idea with these with these videos is not to like force the crit and have like an awkward ass build that you know doesn't make sense the, the build order, but to get the um, you know get the optimal build and add crit into it uh, where it you know f uh, where it seems applicable. And I think this uh, Poison Star is a great starter item. It's, it's pretty cheap. It gives you, you know, great stats for the early game. Um, and it gives you some uh, uh, some attack speed as well. But um, it doesn't give you enough that you can just justify going into, like, a Deathbringer here. Which is probably what I'll be going into next. Unfortunately, you can't go Rage and Ghoul because the stacks don't come. Uh, they don't come easy, and they pretty much never come because there's no other gods or assists to get. Wow, she used that as a body blocking tool really well. I like that. That's very smart. Ooh. Close again. We should be able to take this down, I think. We'll have to see. I don't have any flat pen, but we got a lot of attack speed. Let's get out of this. Oh shit. <laughs> Lost my uh <laughs> just hold the train of thought there. Oh my god, she really got caught in it! Yes! This is the most annoying thing about ABCs. They can backpedal and heal like crazy against you. Wow! Those crits were insane! And I was finally able to like just track her movement there better and take her out. Jesus. I had so many like newbie moments of, of just terrible EDC mechanics, which is so not me, you guys. So not me. But sometimes you get carried away with the crits. You're just like watching the numbers and you're just shooting away. <laughs> I swear to God, it's disorienting you. You start going on a path that your enemy is not going on. And suddenly you realize you're shooting the wrong way. No, that was a blast, though. I've been loving these games. Too bad for Tyrell. Like I said, really, really valiant effort. Very well played. Sucks. For Terra. Sad face. But yeah, incredibly well played by this guy. He did a great job. Um, you know, it's not easy at all playing through that. Even, though, even the clear that he made look so dominant, you know, if I had more pressure on him, it would be a lot tougher. Uh, he utilized, you know, the fact that I put myself, uh, I guess, like a little out of position um, and just, boom, capitalized so well in so many areas. It's good stuff. GG.